Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and I'm here to introduce you to five new videos which focus on one stitch which is called the seed stitch. And the seed stitch is basically single crochet in a chain one space and then chain one again. And then when you come back in the following rows, you just um, single crochet in the chain one space again and chain one. So it's a beautiful um, effect that that stitch has and sometimes I, when you use a really light yarn it tends to look a little bit like knitting. Um, so the projects that we're going to include in this set of five are the hat that you see here and this is started with a single crochet circle at the top and then you just do the seed stitch all the way down the side of the hat. And um, this was worked in a bulky weight yarn, so it's very quick and easy. The skill is very easy to do. Now the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do, actually Christina is going to show you how to do these. Um, and I'm going to go to a close-up to show you how to do these. This one is a dishcloth. And this is using the seed stitch in rows. And then there's two or three rounds of seed stitch on the border to finish it off. And then we have a, an afghan to um, show you how to do, and that's using the um, seed stitch also. And this is what the sample of that afghan looks like. And for this, you use two strands of worsted white yarn and a Q hook, and so this works up super, super quick. And you can see the um, repeat of the seed stitch right here. And this actually changes colors um, every two rows, so you can keep the color changes on the side. So, and then we're going to show you the basic seed stitch, which looks like this also. And then, last but not least, we're going to show you how to make this belt, which could also double for a scarf. And this is super, super easy. And you leave a long end on your starting chain, and then you join on with a single crochet, single crochet across, and then you uh, finish off at the end, leaving a long end. So you, there's no ends to sew in, so that's like the best part of the whole design. So anyway, we're going to take you to a close-up now, and Christina is going to show you how to make these beautiful projects. And make sure that you comment and share and subscribe to our channel, and the links to everything are listed below. And I really want, to, I want you to visit maggiescrochet.com for all of your crochet supplies. Thank you very much for watching. Hey everybody, it's Christina from maggiescrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple uh, dishcloth. This works up really quickly, it's got a nice stretch to it, uh, a nice texture to it, and it's super easy. You can uh, use this stitch pattern for a lot of things. So what I'm going to do, you start off with uh, 31 chain stitches, which I've already got here, into the second chain from your hook you're going to work a single crochet and chain one skip the next chain do a single crochet into the following one I'm going to continue doing that across the whole row and I'll show you um, the last couple stitches once I get to them so when you come to the end of your row here's a single crochet I just did chain one do a single crochet right in here and then I'll have one stitch left in the row and I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet in that spot as well. So that's the end of row one. Now chain one, turn and do the exact same thing. Start with a single crochet right here, chain one, and then my next single crochet is going to be in the chain space of the previous row. See this little hole right here? I'm just going to insert right into there and that's where I'll do my single crochet. And I'll continue chaining one, doing a single crochet all the way across. So here I am almost at the end of row two. Um, I've just made a chain stitch, so I'm gonna single crochet right here into the previous chain space, and then one last single crochet. Now I'm gonna change color and start working a white row. So instead of pulling my pink through here, I'm gonna go ahead grab my white yarn, just tie a little slip knot there, and I'm going to pull that through instead of the pink. 
This is a really nice way to change colors. Uh, it gives you a very even, uh, you don't have you know any excess threads hanging out. Um, don't cut off your pink thread because we will come back to this. So once you get your white in there, just like that, you can chain one, turn, and start the exact same row all over again. So you just want to continue doing this, um, changing color every two row. Like I said, no need to cut it off. You can just bring this up the side. And when we edge it, we'll catch all these um, strands going up the side so that they won't be seen. So go ahead and continue working this for about 30 rows. It'll be about square when you're done. And then I will show you how to put on the edging. So after row 30, um, you can see it's uh, we have a pretty square shape here now. Um, we're ready to put on the border and that's going to hide uh, here are all the loops where we carried our yarn between rows. That'll hide that nicely and just give it a nice finished edge. So um, I'm going to act like I'm changing colors for a new row. I've got the last two loops of my single crochet on here. I'm going to pick up the white and bring that through so I'm ready to start uh, my border. So this is what you're going to do. Go ahead, chain one and turn. And in this first uh, single crochet, we're going to go ahead and work three single crochets. That's going to help you turn the corner, uh, give it a nice rounded edge. All right, and once you've done that, we're just going to continue uh, doing our pattern. Let's see, there's a chain space there, so we'll single crochet in that. And then chain one single crochet all the way across the row. Once you've finished doing the edging across the top of the row, well of course we need to turn the corner and come down the side. So again in this corner single crochet we're going to do three single crochets. I always put a couple of extra stitches in the corner to make it turn nicely. All right, and then once we're there, we can continue uh, with our pattern. I'll do a single crochet here, chain one, single crochet, and just continue to do this evenly across the edge, across the bottom. Uh, you can work into the unused loops of your foundation chain right there, and up the side. Once you get back here to the corner. So I've done my white all the way around for one round. Um, you can see here this was the edge that had all the the carryover strands from where we changed color in the stripes. And you can see now those are all nice and tucked up and you can't even see them hardly at all. Um, so the second round uh, is also going to be with the white. So when you get back to the corner where you started with, um, you've got your three single crochets here in the one corner. Do a slip stitch into the middle one. Chain one and then work three single crochets into that same stitch. Again, we need a few extra stitches to turn the corner nicely. Two and three. Once you've done that, you can continue around in the same manner that you just did with the white. Um, and when we make it back to this corner again, we'll switch over to blue. So here's what we look like at the end of the second round of the edging. Uh, we've got a nice solid white border now and you could certainly leave it like this if you wanted to. Um, so in, in each corner we've got um, our three single crochets worked into the center of the previous three single crochets, our chain one single crochet stitch all around. And now we're ready, uh, we're gonna put one blue round on the very outside. So have your blue standing by, it's still attached, we never cut that off. And we're going to, well, let's do one more. I think we can get one more white single crochet in here. So I'm going to do a chain one. We'll get a white single crochet right there, right next to our corner. Great. Now we want to slip stitch into, again, the middle single crochet of this group of three that we did. But instead of picking up the white, I'm going to go ahead and switch colors and pick up the blue. There we go. Now you can clip off your white and uh, weave that in. With the blue, I'm going to do uh, just the same thing that I have been doing with the white. Chain one. I'll work three single crochets in the same space that I joined. That's the middle of the previous three uh, single crochets. Two, three. I'll go ahead and work one right next to here. And then we'll start chain one 
and working into our chain space. And we'll do that all the way around. So I've almost finished my blue round. I've just got to do one more chain stitch. I'll do a single crochet right here. And then to join, we'll just do a little slip knot right into these single crochets here. Great, now all I have to do is uh, trim this off. And we'll go ahead and pull this through. Got a little extra, little extra yarn there, but we'll trim that off. And that is our dishcloth. So you can see that was very simple to make. You really only need to know one stitch pattern. You've got the, you know, single crochet, chain one, single crochet all the way across for your rows, switching color every two rows, and then you use the same pattern around for the border. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful. You can find the yarn for this, uh, the Premier Home Cotton, at maggiescrochet.com, as well as any hooks or other things you may need. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.